Alrighty, so here we go, the 9-8 maintenance and update notice. Um, I'm not sure what to think about this yet, because the obviously the biggest thing is that they're adding Mono, but they're adding her by herself. So it says, update details, new hero, Shepherd of Death, human weapon Mono, can be obtained through the experimental Subject of Death step up draw event. Okay. So, does that mean that the week after that they're going to add Easton in her own step up or something like that? Because that would be kind of dumb. Like, shouldn't they both be on the same banner? But I mean, I don't know. I, so, I, if I'm not mistaken, the thing with... I, I could be just completely wrong here. Don't get me, you know, twisted. Because, obviously, I didn't play JP. But, wasn't the JP banner, like... A, it was a step-up banner with Easton and Mono on it, obviously. But I'm pretty sure it was like seven steps, and then you got mono, and then it would it like flipped over to the other side, and then you did the other seven steps, and you got Easton. So it was like a 14 step step up or something like that, something similar to that, where like you went through the entire like you went through all the steps the first time, you got mono, you went through them all the second time, you got Easton. I think that's how it worked anyway. Um, so I don't know. This could be good. This could be bad. I guess this way you're not worried about getting mono if you don't want her because she's not really that good if from my understanding we might actually go ahead and look at her skills and stuff really quickly because I actually I'm doing this more for my own benefit I really don't know what she does at all uh, increases damage dealt by 50% if attacking enemies with bleed poison or shock debuffs Inflict sever two times crit chance uh, damage equal to 160 240 400 those are okay modifiers like the multipliers or whatever uh, biohazard inflicts damage equal to 150 percent of attack on one enemy poisons for three turns so she poisons poison is not a really good mod or like a a good dot so I could see where that kind of like makes her lacking a little bit and then her ult makes bleed so yeah I could see that she's probably like her kit's probably not that great honestly like she just doesn't really seem like she's gonna be doing a whole lot of damage especially with her DOT skill doing poison instead of like bleed or anything like that but I mean I don't know these might it might be alright who knows so you just you know you hit with the poison first that way you get the extra 50% attack and then, or 50% damage dealt, and then you just use Sever. So it's a two times crit chance. I don't know, it seems like it might be okay, but I don't know. Probably not, oh well. So, I don't know. I guess the only thing to note here is it could be good depending on how many steps there are on the banner. Like if it's like a seven step up, or like a seven steps step up, it could be okay and worth like actually summoning for it. I don't know for sure, but I mean, if you want the character, you're probably going to like summon on it either way. I probably will summon on it just because I kind of want to test her out and like mess around with her. I don't think I'm going to get her to like UR80 or anything right away, but I don't know. She's cool, I guess. I do like the OC characters. Plus, with these OC uh, banners, I'm assuming like Blue Lilia and other characters will be on this, you know, experimental subject of death step up draw. So. I don't know. We'll have to see when it actually get, like comes out. I'm assuming they'll probably release some uh, additional information and stuff like that probably tomorrow night or something like that uh, before the patch goes up and we'll actually get to see what the banner might be like. I'm not sure. I don't think they actually go over like who's on the banner or anything like that, but maybe they'll go over like the steps and everything. Um, half anniversary celebration salvage rate up event so they're doing a salvage rate up which is really nice so if you you know aren't getting enough blue stones from farming the Lilia event that's going on right now that you can see that I'm farming um, then uh, yeah you can salvage some gear and get your you know super successes and ultra successes so that way you can get some you know more stuff very cool 
Uh, Awaken Lilia Disaster Battle Exchange items added. Costume set added for new hero. Mono added dark red disaster metal to Lilia Awakens Battle Rewards. So these are the unknown materials that have been in the thing the whole time. Uh, so you're going to need those and the red ones, which is really nice because I'm, I'm pretty much out of stuff to buy with these red tokens at this point. So uh, I'm completely okay with them putting it behind these little things right here because the drop rate for the the red um the red materials compared to like the black ones is it's like a 50 50 percent like it's 50 percent chance to get these 50 percent chance to get the black ones i need black ones more because i keep dropping these so i'm okay with that whatever i have more of these anyway so hopefully i can drop some of these and get the costumes and stuff uh second round of returning popular costume sets uh, so they're adding the Most Malevolent Knight set back for Escanor, Merlin, and Gother, which is cool. I think people are really going to probably try to pick up the Escanor one if they have uh, Red Escanor at this point. Because I think, uh, I th I'm pretty sure that the, the Most Malevolent Knighthood set for Escanor dropped before Red Escanor came out. So people that have Red Escanor now that maybe didn't have Green Escanor didn't have the chance to buy this. But uh, then again, I don't know for sure if these are for gems or not because I'm pretty sure right now the ones that returned last week are just for money. And then uh, they have the Honor honor and Scars armor costumes for Gila and Jericho returning as well. So kind of interesting. Uh, new costume sets for Mono, Assassins of the Abyss costume set. I don't know what any of these look like yet because I don't know anything really about Mono. Um, Knighthood boss battle Einik. So they're bringing back Einik. During the next Knighthood calculations, Knighthood boss battle Kellak will be replaced with Einik. So they're going back to the Season 2 um, guild boss, which is kind of interesting. I kind of preferred Einik anyway. I don't really care for Kellak that much. Um, I don't know. A lot of people remember, like, whatever they were first bringing uh, Einik to the game, they, the JP players were super, like, weird about it because they were like, oh, like, Einik is way worse and like way harder and I, I don't know I didn't have too much of a problem with Einik I actually just prefer him at this point like he's okay he's not that bad um, diamond rewards for equipment awaken to tier 5 oh, okay so they're finally adding this this is actually a really good thing so get one diamond per SSR equipment awaken to tier 5 so that means it's five star and then right here it says tier five awakened SSR equipment acquired through SSR equipment selection tickets do not receive diamonds um, that's not really that big of a deal but I'm pre I'm almost positive that it it gives you one diamond per SSR piece that you've done in the past as well so anything that you've gotten to plus five you're gonna get a you know free diamond for it so hopefully whenever this you know patch drops there sh you should get a decent amount of diamonds uh, just for the equipment that you've already gotten you know tier five so yeah uh, more uh, more heroes with engravings mono's obviously getting added with engravings because you know they always pretty much do the new character for the patch at this point uh, Jillian and Marmus are getting you know you are gear, I guess that's kind of interesting. And Monspeed, the green Monspeed is getting added to the coin shop. I actually don't have this one, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. Um, wait, what? Diamond Bogo event is ending? <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, they didn't they didn't say that it's getting renewed in this one. God, I don't. People are gonna riot. Anyway, uh, the Hero Enhanced Rate Up event is also going to be ending, so if you haven't powered up any of your characters that you want to power up, make sure you go ahead and do that. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Kind of, like, you know, a weird thing going on. I was really expecting them to follow the whole JP thing, but I mean, then again, Global kind of has their own agenda as always. So uh, we'll see how this weird single mono step up banner goes. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, just some side notes at the end of the video here, just in case any of the people that normally watch me care. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded in the past couple of days. It's basically just been, you know, I've been busy with work and uh, I had a tattoo appointment and stuff like that. So I'm kind of just, you know, taking it easy, doing whatever I need to do. Uh, I'll probably try to end up streaming a little bit in the morning whenever I wake up, hopefully, if the dogs will, you know, stay quiet. But, uh, yeah, 
try to catch me in the morning if you want to. Anyway, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video.